Hello folks and welcome back to the Fated Rivals Clash. It's the 2v2 edition here on this Saturday Eve, or indeed Sunday if you're over in Asia, Sunday morning, although why you're up at this time, why? Thank you for being here anyway. My judge. name is Relic. We don't judge, exactly. I'm I'm Relic. We've got Hunted and, and Jam here as well. And unfortunately, we just watched Elmo's world crumble around him, them. It was a very interesting series, um, a 3-0 and unfortunately Hunted but it just seemed like they were trying to sneak in shots at the bottom bar, uh, and the bar was closed. Yeah, yeah. Elmo, Elmo is certainly furious with the team right now. I'm sure <laughs> he's having a, a long conversation with them right now. But, but yeah, what no. What are you it, doing? <laughs> God, I didn't I didn't think you'd actually do it. I'm glad you did. Thank you. You're um, <laughs> yeah, I I mean, it just it seemed like. Um, nothing was working. They, they just, they couldn't quite, uh, break through that defense, man. And I'm telling you, the transition game in this game is unbelievably fast. You, you put yourself out of position one time, you make one mistake. And if the players on the enemy team are skilled, like Alex and, and Fisky are, they're going to punish you. And that's exactly what they did in each and every game. Uh, and you know, of course, a well-deserved, fi uh, uh, winner's finals appearance. They're not yet in the grand final, but... Well deserved winners finals appearance for them. And big shout out to Fisky in particular, uh, not just scoring six out of the nine goals for his duo, uh, but also allowing us to restream. So thank you very yes. much, uh, Fisky. And Jam, I mean, g building off that point, uh, very much defense is key in 1v1. It seems like defense is key in 2v2 as well. There was one goal apiece for both of the Elmo's World players, but it definitely felt like it was the one lapse in concentration per game that we saw afforded to them rather than them being able to break through the wall. Yeah, they managed to put in something through, but I think the overall big picture was that Elmo's world uh, lacked in midfield, lacked in, uh, like perhaps in some of the quicker play style and affiliates were just every single time punishing them for that. Yep, so Aphelion Esports, they move on. We're gonna be seeing them again going up against the Binky Boys. It's the Binky Boys, folks. And Hunted, we uh, see a familiar face once again. Yes, Noah and Lobo for Binky Boys. A uh, bit of a rematch from the 1v1 tournament. We'll see uh, who can contribute more to their team, but it's a team game. And uh, these 2v2 matchups doesn't quite... I mean, Alex showed his 50-50 his, uh, prowess, but Noah's going to be uh, up to the challenge. So we're going to see who's going to play uh, the better of the two teams, certainly. But... Before I hand it over, Hunted Pigeonhole himself. I'm going to Pigeonhole uh, Jam here and Man, get your prediction, go. Jam. Oh, well. You know what? I'm going to go for Binky Boys. Just for Binky Boys, Binky but I don't think Boys. it's going to be a 3-0. By no means. Uh, how about we see the full five-game uh, length series? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Well, are the Binky Boys going to turn on the blinkers, or is Ophelia and Esports going to continue their dominance? Hunted Jam, it's over to you. Thank you again. And we will catch up with, uh, well, we'll catch up with the whole storyline, everything that's going on here in the tournament. There's a whole lot that's been going on in that lower bracket, and we're going to get all caught up with that uh, after this game here, Jam, because, um, you know, we, we're, we're just about ready to hop into this best of five. Winner of this one guaranteed uh, in the top two. So quite a, uh, quite a nice chunk of change to be taken home for either of these two teams. Uh, for one day of uh, of playing some some Rocket League sideswipe again, I can't believe that we're here. Guys at a two v two thirty five hundred dollar tournament uh, already, and we're only a month into this game. Yeah, surprise, surprise! There's going to be more of these tournaments. Is going to be a weekly occurrence as we go into the next year as we're having a bit of a christmas break so get registered Let's do it see your regions and look what's going to happen but another match is on the screen hunted i'm excited to see we haven't seen one of these teams play just yet and how noah plays and how lobo plays what is their 2v2 mentality right. chemistry is what is my biggest question right now well we see lobo with the uh what is that the the cowboy hat or whatever and i you know you gotta love that the 10 gallon one yeah well it's hard to is it the cowboy hat it's hard to tell i think so it's it's, it's one of those foam hats or the foam hat that's what i mean i don't know why i said cowboy hat yeah the foam hat <laughs> um gotta love that 
But, uh, yeah, right now, I mean, again, it's just back and forth. Nobody wanted to make that first mistake. And, again, the punishments are going to be fast. Again, it's Fisky, uh, who is the player without a, a card. We are watching his POV. Thank you again to him for streaming this game for us. As it is Afaliot Esports in the blue. They're going to have to play a little bit of defense there. Noah almost forced that one through. I don't think Ooh. I see. Wow. <laughs> Noah goes for seconds, gets it. I wish we had the speed counter as well at the bottom for how fast that's going to go in because this <laughs> was definitely about 100 miles or so, but such <gasps> oh! so quickly the tides can change and then they just get what denied. This save. was 90% in hunted. That was unbelievable from Noah. He just falls on the ball, makes a save, but then he gets stuffed. Oh, Lobo has to come through in the clutch. Almost beats Alex over the top. And the transitions back and forth. Can Noah put this game on lock? Not quite. Now he's got to get back as Lobo has to play some defense here. Lobo does not allow the ball to drop. He knows the moment it goes across the goal line, that ball is as good as in. Nephelion and Alex were hunting for that for sure. Great pinch. I don't think they necessarily have the height to bring oh, them both oh, through. Oh, oh, they oh. might not have the height, but look at the push. Oh, 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 they still get it. This was just unstoppable force bringing the ball into the net. I'm just, I'm, my mind is blown, Hunter. Yeah, the defense got out of sorts there. Both players were up, not in a great position. But now Lobo Chance. wins the 50. The flick on goal. Alex, a huge save, and we got OT. You could see Alex just waiting until the last possible moment. And even with that delay, Lobo could not get the ball on target. I'll have to try in the overtime. First overtime of the day. This shows that these teams are much more evenly matched. Thank you, boys. Got a little bit of momentum with that final goal. With that last goal, at the very least. And you once again see those defenders just staying in deep. Lobo Ooh. gets bamboozled, but Alex just does not find the angle. Yeah, off the bottom crossbar there. Nobody able to make the play. Oh, no. Again, a big mistake. And it's Fisky to finish it off. It was there in the air. You saw, I think it was Lobo jump up for it. He ends up coming back down to the ground, and Fisky immediately turns on that play. That was huge. What a way to end that game, Ophelion, up by one. <laughs> well, we've seen this already for Ophelion. The fact is, they play incredibly fast. They know where to pounce in an opportunity. On the side of Binky Boys, while Noah is pulling up some amazing stuff, and Lobo roughly knows where he needs to be on the field to support uh, to support Noah. And I want to see more from Lobo as well. I want to see what his individual skill level is as well. Uh, the thing that stood out to me the most for the side of Binky Boys double commits both of them were quite often going for the same ball and quite often that used the resources that uh, changed the positioning just a little bit and it feels like this is something that affiliate esports can then jump on if this continues to happen in this game well let's see what they can do heading into game number two now jam affiliate esports undefeated on stream so far We'll see if they can continue that trend. Noah and company, though, giving them all they could handle in game one. As Alex, that's a good 50 win, but Lobo's got the pinch. Already in the air was Fisky. Trying to control this one. Has Alex in support. Noah plays it that's down. Straight. Fisky's there, able to take it away, but couldn't put it home. What a play from Lobo. Back the other way, one nothing. Ah, every single time. There are so many opportunities for a player with an aerial with a flick to just put extra power on the shot, and you never know whether you should be hurrying back home to your net or not. But Lobo has definitely proven that on that time. Aphelion was caught napping just for a second. And you can see Noah gets... Noah! Just does not get denied. Fisky tries to go for it, but Noah... Again, that's the Merc, Merc mentality. Pull, yeah. Merc mindset. Push this through. He just got to muscle through, man. Yeah. The van can't be denied, won't be <laughs> denied by Noah there. And now Lobo looking to replicate that. But Alex winning the 50 up in the air just forces it home. And Alex is one of the best players I've ever seen uh, utilizing that ground corner. He just he literally rides the ball up the wall. It gives Again. you no chance to get back on the other side. Uh, this was Fisky, though, attempting for his uh, chance to do something like that, like his teammate. But yeah, of that last goal, you could see that Noah was trying to block it, but he was riding up with the ball. And the moment is, it just went past Noah's car. That's where Alex struck. 
And it is one of those small skills that you just want to utilize. Look how quick Noe is, though, on that on that challenge. He, he immediately transforms from ground to straight up and then straight with a lot of power pushing towards the net. What he is an incredible 1v1 player. 30 seconds left. Fisky. Trying to find Alex to connect. The ball's going to bounce here. Fisky Again. almost forces it through. He's trying to take a page out of his teammate's playbook. They're still going to get a Dangerous. chance. But just couldn't get the uh, the car on it. 14 seconds left. <gasps> Lobo. Oh, no. no. He double jumps towards the back wall instead of away. Now he's got to play a two-on-one on defense. Noah is back. Can they ride this one out? Jam. What a pinch from Lobo. Finish it off with a double touch, and it's 3-1. Ah. The ability to squeeze that ball past the opposition. <laughs> I feel like Alex and Fiskio were already so incredibly close. This is going to be on target, but that's not going to do anything. <laughs> zero, zero on the clock. The second match goes in the favor of Binky Boys. And a lot of that is just the credit. Well, credit really goes to both of the players. They have found their ways in. And every single time Noah was in front of the net of Afila and Esports with the ball, I felt like he was going to just do a magic trick, put something out of nothing. It seems like both teams have kind of prioritized playing that down low area in front of the goal. And it's interesting because the defenses from the either team have been different. If you notice, it seems like Afila and Esports, the way they want to play that is have one if not both players on like the bottom floor of the goal there and just kind of like a lid you know just snapping the lid closed every time the ball rolls up whereas uh for oh no what are, what are their names uh the binky, binky boys. boys binky boys uh they're kind of playing it more direct kind of staying on that bottom wall i don't know who has the better strategy nice save uh but uh I, yeah i'm not sure who's got the better strategy but right now noah's got the better of the play right here one nothing <laughs> Well, you rarely see that the player just has the control of the midfield on his own, but Noah was doing exactly that. He had the ceiling covered. He immediately dropped down for a challenge as the clear was seemingly just, just an innocuous clear. Everything is like routine, but no, he was there to immediately take it off the hands of a Felian player coming on out. And just the visibility on it. Look at that. Another one of these attempts through the player, utilizing the opposition's player as a little ramp to send it towards the net because the lip itself is not going to do that. It is. Oh, what a save. Or commit. Challenge. And Lobo needs be... to put it on. Oh. It's a counterattack. Just didn't have the approach, didn't have the angle. Yeah, remember that one if they come back in this game. <laughs> Lobo, he's got Alex in a one on one trying to play back towards Noah. Noah wisely stays on the ground a bit longer. The ball's going to be stuck here. No, a good clear away. And I'm, I'm telling you, Jam, both teams trying to play this game so fine. It's like we're on the, the you know, it's just a very fine line. It's anything one direction can flip this game immediately. There's only 38 seconds left. Ah, you saw Noah try to feather his boost. He had the flip. As he was going off Good the save. ceiling, just tries to play as slow as possible. Great save. Now there's only one defender. Noah's already in place. He doesn't wow. have the time to get up. And Alex with... I love how quickly these players can go from zero to a hundred. Yes. They just immediately flick a switch and they're already like halfway deep into your net. <laughs> and it's a 1-1 one -one game. Will we see OT again? That's the big question right now. 15 seconds. Good save from Noah. He's got the flip reset. Alex in position. The ball is dangerous down low, but they will find the clear. Alex was that a boost, I believe, there. As Lobo just hovering. <gasps> no! He flips way too early. And wow. the bait from Alex. What a goal. One second. One second. Binky oh Boys can still gosh. do it. It's up high. No, he immediately goes for a cheetah behind. Passes oh. it to Lobo, but he did not get in with the idea that Noah has trying to push. Great strategy. Wow. I love that he immediately pulled out a set play to go from this kickoff. It just did not work out. And ah, uh, one small mistake right at the... They played for almost two minutes. And we're going into the overtime with that <laughs> one. But one second. One second was just not enough to pull it off. He nearly did I, it, though. And I mean, a great... I mean, great patience from Alex. I mean, you, you saw Lobo was there. He... And the reason why Lobo goes quickly up to the ceiling we just saw alex score from on the ground top shelf carries it in in the matter of half a second 
Lobo expecting that almost exact same play, but the fake from Alex pulls him out of position. Uh, the mind game's already so good. And it's a nil-nil game. Oh, Lobo? no. Lobo. Lobo? Oh. oh, no. Not the way you want to start at a potential elimination game. No, Aphelion up one in the series and system, the best of five they are on the match point and immediately conceding right that. No one will have to change something. Nope, decides to give it to the opposition, sees that he has no opportunity to go do anything with it. And now a little bit of a one we won. Now the other way, this is how quickly the ties can change in Sideswipe. One touch and the ball immediately <laughs> with a team goes the oh. other way. Uh, I just, I, it's just still so funny to me, the interactions in this corner. Just nobody wanting to overcommit, nobody wanting to have the ball bounce hard off their car. Lobo kind of giving that one away to Alex. Noah there able to make the play, the pass down, but Alex again in good position. We've seen that all game long. What a shot from Fisky. I wonder if uh, Noah expected Lobo to immediately go towards the net and cover that. But Fisky just pounces on an aerial that was unguarded. It was too open for uh for noah and that's why fisky were, was able to take it himself now back into the net you see that goalie sitting straight up noah did not have didn't wasn't Ooh. close to the ball now the other way with lobo trying to make a save we'll be waiting on the ground but the ball is up high in the air and noah just has no chance of pushing against two players who are one after another in a row <sighs> oh my god if it's if it's not alex it's fisky making these incredible the saves but he can't get back to that one too strong, too quick. Lobo gets credit for it, but Noah was up there as well, pushing forward. But I I'm telling you, man, this game, it's its almost come down to Alex and Fisky making incredible saves on the goal line. <laughs> they need to. They absolutely need to. Binky boys have their power. Noah is going to try to utilize his more Merc. I wonder what he was trying to do with that oh. one, but unfortunately, it just opens up. Lobo tries to go for air again. And that allows Fisky and Alex to just sneak the ball past him. It puts his team in a real tough spot. Great save from Noah. That could be a game changer. They need to turn this into a goal themselves. Push two. Noah going to try to force his way through. But rejected. 15 seconds left. What do they have here, Jam? Oh, the steal. The finish. And a picture-perfect goal for Fisky to end a picture-perfect series. I, I would like to applaud what Noah has been doing on that play. He has conceded. He once again has let the ball run just a little bit too much. He he needed either teams team teammate support or anything. But the way that he quickly went from I'm going to go into the I'm going to the defense and I'm uh, going to play that ball with a flip. He immediately resets himself to go the opposite way towards the opponent, and that's how he starts an attack from a basically a retreating position. Love seeing that. Love how much the players can control their cards and what they have in their arsenal. But all of that means Squadoosh at the end, as with a <laughs> three to one, it is Aphelion Esports who are taking it over the Banky Boys. My prediction of five games did not come to fruition, Hunted. I was not disappointed by the gameplay. We've seen strategies just evolve throughout the game. We've seen the best of the best. And we also have seen just how big is the cost of a mistake in a tournament like this. Oh, absolutely. When you get to this level and uh, you know, the players, each and every one of them so very skilled already in this game. Uh, yeah, there's no making mistakes in recovering. It's uh, <laughs> just going to the next point, getting uh, getting your head back in the game for the next goal. So um, two grand finals in as many days for Alex. One in a 1v1 tournament. Now here in the 2v2, he moves on to that grand final. Really looking forward. This time he isn't coming through the lower bracket. He's got that game advantage. So will he use that to turn it into a, a, a win here this time around? We're going to have to find out, Jam. But we've got more sites. Right? We're going to go down to the loser's final for our next one. I wonder if or a queue for production, but we're staying here. <laughs> so that was indeed a queue for me. I was looking at that lower bracket, and there's a chance that Amir, the previous winner of the 1v1 tournament, has will be getting there uh, himself. His team, QC, he is teaming up with uh, Razox, uh, is still going to be there. So we might see Alex play versus Amir again. First, though, QC need to either uh, beat Elmo's World or uh, TVR Goonies. And of course, the Vinky boys are now waiting in the lower, in the loser's finals. 
And we saw that there is enough power in Noah and his teammate Lobo that can still stop the run of QC. Um, but it's going to be heating up down here at the lower bracket. No more second chances. Double elimination. The loser's bracket is the name. You've lo lo lost once. No more second chances. Yeah, well, we are going to go ahead and take a short break, folks. We'll be back in just a little while. We will bring you that loser's final. Binky boys waiting patiently to see who they will play to try to play back into that grand final. Don't go anywhere here on Rival Esports.